Imagine waking up one morning to a drastically changed world, a world where survival is the only game. How would you cope? We're talking about the psychological challenges of enduring a post-apocalyptic scenario. This is not a fantasy, but a possibility. The question is, are you prepared? Surviving in a post-apocalyptic world is not just about physical survival. Your mind is your greatest asset and possibly your greatest adversary. In such a scenario, it's not just the external threats that pose a danger. The internal battles, the ones fought within the confines of your mind, can be just as perilous. And the first step to winning these battles is acknowledging and understanding the psychological challenges that may arise. One of the first and most profound reactions is panic. It's a primal response to extreme danger, a flood of adrenaline that can make you act without thinking. It's a double-edged sword, though. While it might push you to run faster or fight harder, uncontrolled panic can also lead to hasty decisions and reckless actions that may put you in greater danger. Depression is another significant challenge. The overwhelming sense of loss, the grief for the world that was, and the relentless uncertainty of what lies ahead can lead to a deep, debilitating sadness. It's not just about feeling low. Depression can sap your will to survive, to fight, to keep going. Loneliness, too, can be a heavy burden. Humans are social creatures. We crave connection, interaction. In a post-apocalyptic world, the absence of these connections can lead to a profound sense of isolation, a loneliness that gnaws at your soul. It's a heavy weight to bear, and it can cloud your judgment, making survival even more challenging. And then there's paranoia. The constant fear, the incessant worry that danger lurks around every corner. Paranoia can keep you on your toes, keep you alert. But it can also rob you of peace, of rest, of the ability to think clearly and rationally. Understanding these challenges is the first step to overcoming them. Each of these psychological hurdles is formidable, but they are not insurmountable. Recognizing them, acknowledging their power, is the first step towards mitigating their impact. And in the struggle for survival, every small victory counts. Mental health is crucial in a survival scenario. It influences your decision-making, your resilience, and your overall chances of survival. Now, when we think about survival, we often envision physical challenges, finding food, building shelter, defending ourselves, but the psychological challenges are just as important, if not more so. In a post-apocalyptic world, your mental health can be your greatest asset or your biggest liability. Imagine you're in a desolate, unfamiliar environment, the world as you knew it has changed drastically. You're dealing with loss, fear, stress, and perhaps even guilt. These emotions are natural, but they can also cloud your judgment, making it harder to make rational decisions. This is where the importance of maintaining mental health comes in. You see, mental health isn't just about feeling good, it's about being able to think clearly, make decisions, and adapt to new situations. It's about resilience. Resilience is the ability to bounce back from adversity, it's about facing challenges head-on and coming out stronger on the other side. In a survival scenario, emotional resilience is key. It allows you to keep going even when things seem hopeless. But how do you build emotional resilience? Well, it starts with understanding your emotions. Accept that it's okay to feel scared, sad, or angry. These emotions are not weaknesses, but signals from your brain that something needs attention. Once you understand your emotions, you can start to manage them. This might mean taking a few moments to calm down when you're feeling overwhelmed or finding a way to channel your fear into determination. It's about finding a balance between your emotional reactions and your rational thought process. And remember, mental health is not a destination, but a journey. It's about continuous growth and adaptation. It's about learning to navigate through the ups and downs of life and coming out stronger each time. In a post-apocalyptic world, your mind is your greatest weapon. It's what will help you adapt, strategize, and survive. So take care of it, nurture it. Your mind is a tool, keep it sharp. So how can you maintain mental health and build emotional resilience in a post-apocalyptic world? Let's dive into some practical advice. First and foremost, establish a routine. Yes, that's right, routines. They might sound mundane, but they are the building blocks of mental health. They provide structure, a sense of normalcy, and can help you regain control in a world that seems out of control. Start your day with a simple routine. Wake up at the same time, prepare a meal, or take a moment to stretch and breathe. The predictability of a routine can be an anchor in the stormy seas of uncertainty. Next, find a purpose. Purpose gives life meaning. It can be as simple as maintaining your shelter 
or as profound as helping others survive. Maybe your purpose is to learn and adapt to become a master of your new environment. Or perhaps it's to document your experiences, to leave a record for future generations. Whatever it is, hold on to it. It's your beacon in the dark, your reason to keep going, your mental fuel. Staying active is also crucial. The mind and body are deeply connected. Physical activity can help reduce anxiety and improve mood. It doesn't have to be vigorous exercise. Walking, stretching, or even practicing mindfulness through activities like yoga or meditation can do wonders for your mental health. Find an activity you enjoy and make it part of your routine. Don't forget about the power of connecting with others. Humans are social creatures. We thrive on connection and community. Even in a post-apocalyptic world, seek out others. Share your experiences, your fears, your hopes, listen to theirs, build alliances, offer help and accept it when offered. Remember, you're not alone in this. Lastly, practice gratitude. Yes, even in a post-apocalyptic world, there are things to be grateful for. The sunrise, the sound of the wind, the sight of a bird in flight. Gratitude can shift your focus from what's wrong to what's right, from what's lost to what remains. It's a powerful tool for resilience. Each of these steps is a piece of the puzzle, a component in the toolbox of mental resilience. They won't make the challenges disappear, but they can make them more manageable. They can help you navigate the emotional landscape of a post-apocalyptic world with strength and grace. Remember, survival is not just about the body, it's about the mind, too. So take care of your mind, nurture it, strengthen it, because in a world where everything has changed, the one thing you can control is your mindset. And in the end, that could make all the difference. So keep going, keep adapting, keep surviving. And always remember, the strength to do so comes from within you. Remember, survival is not just about the body, it's about the mind too. In the face of adversity, positivity is power. It's not just a feel-good mantra, but a survival tool, especially in a post-apocalyptic world. It's the flickering flame in the heart of darkness, the beacon guiding you when everything else seems lost. Let's talk about maintaining a positive mindset. It might seem like a luxury or a trivial pursuit when survival is the primary focus. But consider this, a positive mindset is like a compass, guiding your actions, helping you make constructive decisions, and fostering resilience. It's an essential tool in your survival kit. How do we maintain positivity in the face of overwhelming odds? First, practice gratitude. It's easy to focus on what's wrong, what's lost, and what's missing, but there's power in shifting our perspective and acknowledging what we still have. Every sunset, every safe night, every meal, every breath, these are blessings. Gratitude anchors us in the present and opens our eyes to the beauty that still exists amidst chaos. Speaking of the present, focus on it. It's easy to get entangled in the past, fret over mistakes, or worry about the future. But the present is the only moment we truly have control over. By being fully present, we can make the best use of our resources, make wise decisions, and find joy in the simplest things. Lastly, visualize success. Picture yourself thriving, not just surviving. Visualize the shelter you're building, the food you're gathering, or the community you're nurturing. Seeing yourself succeed creates a roadmap for your mind to follow. It boosts your confidence, motivates you to take action, and reinforces your belief in your ability to survive. Remember, positivity is not about denying reality or being naively optimistic. It's about choosing to focus on the good, the possible, and the hopeful. It's about choosing to believe in your strength, your resilience, and your capacity to survive and thrive. Positivity is not naive optimism. It's a survival strategy. Preparing for a post-apocalyptic world is not about fear. It's about readiness. It's easy to think of preparing for survival scenarios in terms of stockpiling canned goods or mastering the art of fire starting. But the reality is your mental preparedness is just as crucial if not more so. You see, your mind is the most powerful tool in your survival kit. It's the command center that guides every decision you make, every step you take. Let's dive into the art of mental preparation first. Think about practicing mindfulness. This might seem like an odd place to start, but mindfulness is all about living in the present moment. And in a survival scenario, being fully present is going to be incredibly important. It allows you to focus on what's happening right now, which can keep panic at bay and help you make rational decisions. Now, learning survival skills is an obvious part of preparation, but did you know that it also contributes to your mental preparedness? 
By learning how to purify water, build shelter, or navigate by the stars, you're not just acquiring practical knowledge. You're also building confidence in your ability to take care of yourself. This confidence can greatly reduce anxiety and fear, making you more resilient in the face of adversity. Speaking of resilience, let's talk about emotional resilience. This is the ability to bounce back from stressful or traumatic events. It's a skill that can be learned and developed. Start by practicing emotional awareness, recognize what you're feeling and why. This understanding can help you manage your emotions rather than being controlled by them. And remember, it's okay to feel fear or sadness. These emotions are natural responses to difficult situations. The key is not to let them paralyze you, but to use them as a catalyst for action. In the end, it all comes down to this. Preparation is the key to survival. So equip your mind with the right skills and attitudes, and you'll be ready to face whatever comes your way. Remember, fear doesn't have to be your enemy. It can be a signal, a motivator, a reminder that you are alive and fighting. And that, my friends, is a victory in itself. Surviving a post-apocalyptic world is a daunting thought, but with mental resilience, it becomes a challenge to overcome, not an impossibility to fear. We've journeyed through the unthinkable today, peering into the psychological impact of such a world, reminding ourselves that mental health is as essential as physical survival. We've learned practical steps to foster mental resilience, from maintaining a healthy routine to forming supportive communities. We've explored the transformative power of positivity, an invaluable tool that can turn adversity into opportunity. And we've prepared ourselves for the unthinkable, arming our minds with strategies to face any future with courage and conviction. It's essential to remember that in a world turned upside down, our greatest asset is our mind. It's our compass in the chaos, our anchor in the storm. Mental resilience isn't just about surviving, but about thriving, finding hope in the harshest of circumstances and forging a path forward when all roads seem to lead nowhere. The future might be uncertain, but our spirit is unbreakable. With mental resilience, we're not merely enduring the apocalypse, we're redefining what it means to live to be human even in the face of utmost adversity. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel, stay resilient, stay prepared.